Hi guys, welcome back to my Instagram or possibly YouTube, not sure which one yet. However, today I want to show you how to do this glam ass look in literally 30 minutes. So, either swipe through or watch till the end, depending on which one I'm putting this on. Last week my camera broke, so it was an absolute devastation and this is the exact same look I'm doing this week. So, I hope you like it. If I'm on Instagram, double tap. If I'm on YouTube, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the time. It is 4.02, so this is how quick this glam ass look is going to be. Bear in mind that I'm also doing this in Iranian at the same time, so it will probably take twice the time that it should take. And I with the MAC strobe cream. Ooh. Beautiful on the skin. See if you're just like having a no makeup day as well. Honestly, it is absolutely stunning. It just gives you like a really radiant glow. I'm just going to rub this in with my hands. I thought it's everywhere. People just sometimes keep it on their cheekbones, but I just think it's so nice. See on a holiday, and you can't be arsed with a cakey look. This baby. The next thing I'm going to use is the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is a very thick, full coverage foundation, which I'm not the biggest fan of, to be honest. I quite like it soft and subtle. See your freckles kind of through it. So I'm not going to use as much, and that's why I've used the stroke cream underneath. So I'm just kind of hitting it on my face, I'm not like dragging it. I don't know who the Beauty Foundation works so much better with a brush than it does with a beauty blender. It's one of my concealers, is the Tarte Shape Tape. I literally use this all the time, it is by far the best concealer. Anyone who says they found the dupe of this is a liar because I have tried everything else and it just doesn't work the same. Then I blend with a sponge this time. I don't like using this with a brush. This is a Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I'm obsessed with it. At first I didn't know if I liked it but I'm actually in love. Same with the foundation, it's one of those things that you kind of grow to love for the beauty I feel. The only thing that I fell in love with first time was their liquid lipsticks. Oh my god, I can't open this. I'm going to put my sponge and dip it in. And then literally pack it under my eyes. Then whatever's left over on the sponge, I'm just going to dab around my face. Poudre. Right, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to do my eyeliner, but firstly I'm just going to put some glue on my lashes. So I am using the Kiss Beauty Lashes in Corset. I tried these on for the first time last week and they are stunning! So I'm going in with the Inglot Gel Liner. This is literally ride or die if you want an eyeliner, this baby is the beast. So I literally pack my brush with eyeliner and I press the eyeliner on, I don't drag it. I just think it's a lot quicker, you get a neater like line. And then I'm just going to drag my eye out, just to make sure I match my other one. Once your eyeliner's on, shove on my lash. So use my sponge and take off the powder underneath my eye. Right, let's beast the rest of my face. So, bronzer. I don't contour it any other way. I love just using bronzer to contour. So I'm using the butter bronzer. Just under my lip. Gives the impression of a bigger lip. My forehead, so my hair is split back. Then I take a little bit and I do my nose, I just put it on the side here. Just gives you a bit more of a snatched nose. Fun fact, someone actually commented on one of my photos and said, you know what pretty if I got a nose job? Give her the middle finger and then blocked her. Put a wee bit just on my eyelid. 
sick of a bit of depth just to contour my eye a little bit. Then I'm going in with MAC Raisin. This is quite a dark blusher. But I think it's so nice for this time of year. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do my brows and I'm just going to use a shadow. So brushing my brows first and go in the shadow and draw them out. I just want a really simple brow. Then I'm just going to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. This is one of my favourites for bottom lashes because it never transfers under your eye. I want to go quite heavy with this. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Fix Plus and just spray my face. Then I'm just going to use some highlighter. This is the Arts Couture highlighter. In fact, I'm going to do my lippy first. This is what makes this look glam as hell. So this is MAC Fashion Legacy in red. So you could use this and be done with it, but I love this colour. This is Bengal Tiger, it's like a fiery orange. I just put it in the middle and then blend it out. Last but not, not least, this is the Artist Couture Highlighter in Illuminati. Looks like this. So, really gently open it because I forgot to close it and it's gone everywhere. So I always try and do Fix Plus first and then highlighter. I just feel like it sticks on better, it looks so much more glowy. So with a smaller brush, to the inner corner of my eye, a little bit under my eyebrow, just a wee bit above my lip. Right, that's it. Time check. 34, well 32 minutes. Right, that is it done. Quick ass glam look. And usually what I do as well, like I'll be going on like a date night on a Friday after work or I'm going out with like people after work in general and I need just a quick ass glam look. So I might already have concealer on and mascara on and so literally winged liner, highlighter and red lippy is the dream combo for a quick ass glam look. If you like this, please double tap and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.